National standards were introduced in 2010. Today they were given an expulsion note. Their intention was, and I quote, to report to parents twice a year in plain language on their child's progress in reading, writing and maths. Anne Tolley, who was the minister behind them, utterly believed in them. A cabinet paper shows Treasury said they shouldn't be dropped without a replacement. Good to go, but teachers overwhelmingly, uh, overwhelmingly wanted them gone. Labor campaigned on their demise and today they delivered exactly that. Peter O'Connor is Professor of Education at the University of Auckland and earlier this afternoon, about an hour and a half ago, he looked back at them. I, like I guess most academics in, in the education field, had a sense that they were never going to achieve what the national government wanted them to achieve and that, if anything, they were going to cause more harm than good and really after seven years, that's what we've seen. They they didn't do what they hoped. They didn't lift the achievement of of the kids they wanted it to, to do that for. And it caused real harm across the sector. I remember covering their launch and I thought to myself, gosh, there was some optimistic rhetoric attached to the announcement of the policy. So I went back and printed out what Anne Tolley was saying. National Standards introduced mm. February 2010. Children who are slipping behind will be identified so teachers and parents can help them improve before it's too late. On the face of it, that's a good ambition. Why was it never going to work? Well, we have two, two parts to that, I guess, was that they were identifying and always did a very narrow part of what it means when it comes to achieving or succeeding at school. And, and the very narrow part of that was was one part of was literacy and and numeracy and schools are always much bigger than that and if you really want to make the difference there it's not what we know from 30 years of of, of international research in education you you want to lift literacy and numeracy it's not about applying the blowtorch there it's actually about a rich broad curriculum that engages, excites, motivates young people and teachers. And that national testing, whether you call it national testing or national standards, has always narrowed the curriculum and sucked the joy and life out of schools. And that's what's happened. I was once in a school and the teacher, we were filming a story about something completely unrelated and the teacher almost grabbed me by the scruff of the neck and said, look at my class. And I looked at them and she said, do you think national standards will tell the story of this class? Was that the failing of national standards, that it was so blinkered, so one dimensional, that it didn't actually get to what was really going on? Yeah, well, it always conflated the idea of achievement with success. So what, what teachers have always understood is that achievement is more than gaining skills in a test and measuring that against how well other kids have done. Although, Peter, actually, sorry to interrupt. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I can hear people yelling at the radio now. And given that we're pre-recording this interview, that's quite a remarkable thing because I, I can actually hear them yelling at the radio in an hour and a half's time. And, and oh, people are going to say, but achievement is success. For God's sake, don't we want children to come out of school armed with some kind of qualification, something meaningful? Absolutely. But what national standards did was to say that achievement and literacy and numeracy equaled success. But actually, being successful in terms of uh, science, history, geography, uh, the arts, and being good at those things is equally important and valid. And what we were doing was saying, everything that we understood about schools and whether or not schools were successful was about that really narrow criteria. Literacy and numeracy measured against what everyone agreed were dodgy standards. So you're absolutely right. Teach, teacher, uh, parents ha should have really high expectations that their kids go to school and they learn and they succeed but you don't measure that success with really narrow criteria. And that was always the problem with national standards. The purpose of schools was reduced to skills and literacy and numeracy. Taking away national standards and all that that entails for schools literally means there's now time or more time for teaching. 
And I would imagine more time for teaching for teachers is something that they're going, you know, they're, they're really excited about. The, we, we, when you listen to Linda Stewart from NZDI today say, this is a day of celebration. What they're celebrating as teachers is they can get back to the job of teaching and national standards was taking them away from it. 